we're two and a half minutes away. No, I'm getting in my head. I hate doing that before I do interviews because then it gets stuck on Jessica Tull, who is making a living from cleaning her own home. Is that I mean, awesome? If I sit and watch her for 45 minutes, does my house get cooking? That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I got a little bit nervous there, but I think I did well. And I'll let you guys know once it goes live. You'll probably see that it's gone live before this goes live. So, yeah. I have another interview on Thursday. Uh, not Thursday. Wednesday. You guys. Crazy. <laughs> Jessica, that you have a soothing voiceover that sounds very flattering. I'm sure it's good to hear. And you must be a little taken aback by the attention getting a New York Times article right up about your YouTube channel, I'm guessing, huh? much fun they were really funny um i think the radio show is called real radio 104.1 here in orlando so if you're in orlando then you'll probably hear me on the radio today is not caused it is my hands are mad ashy to that i'm gonna add some manuka honey and some ground ginger i'm gonna drink this and catch up with my girlfriend on instagram i'm not showing you guys my code we're talking about that rude interview last night a lot of you guys actually dm me about that we'll talk about that later Okay, I'm back home and I put this on because the little top I have underneath was just too revealing. I was holding my cardigan together the whole time I was at Walmart and trying to like cover myself with my purse. My battery just died. The other one's charging. I have to pick the kids up in an hour and a half, so I'm going to start cleaning. I won't be able to film anything because my battery is literally dead, which sucks. But 
I'll film as much as I can until it gets super dark where you guys can't see anything. But I'm going to start with my room because I still don't have a light in there and it's a mess. So, yeah. <laughs> it for my room right now I just did a quick tidy I didn't put the laundry away because I want to move into this area of the house which is more of a complete disaster I wanted to point out this mirror because I get a lot of questions about it on Instagram it's from Ballard Designs and it's a very big heavy mirror it's over a hundred pounds I got mine when it was about a hundred dollars off a few weeks ago it did take a long time to get here but it is so big and pretty I love it
quickly before my battery dies, I'm just going to vacuum this area. And you guys can probably tell that the runner is off if I'm talking loud. Sorry, I have my headphones on. I can't really hear how loud I'm being. But yeah, I got this runner from Wayfair. It was on sale. It was such a good deal. It's 17 feet long, a little bit short for the entryway, or I'm thinking to move it more towards the middle. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. But when I put it directly in the middle, it leaves me such a little space on this side to vacuum and mop. So that's why I have it off to the side. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. My outside patio rug just got here. The kids are home and they wasted no time asking for lollipops. <laughs> Why are you guys all blurred out? That's weird. Anyway, I'm going to make them something quick to eat so I can finish cleaning.
that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But now the never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. to smile but i would never ever ever would have believed them no reason sometimes the truth is hard to see but now the never ever ever seem to be over i saw her so i'm happy i got freed lucky 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 me uh -oh. Some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we ain't got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Yeah, I'm going out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind. Yeah, for you, my love. You drive me crazy. Tell me what to do. I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you, begging you I'll break the rules if it will get me to, get me to, yeah already showed you guys this did i i showed it on instagram but this is our new entertainment center i just left the stuff that's on top of it right now there because i need it for the tv when it gets mounted that's the tv that's in my room here's the mount 
This is the rest of the outside patio furniture that I still haven't built yet. But now that the rug is officially here, I'm gonna have no choice. Um, I'm gonna put that box into the garage. And then over here, if you notice, we only have three chairs. And that's because I left the other two chairs at the other house. I still need to go get those. Um, I'm gonna leave my lighting kit there because I'm most likely gonna have an interview where I'm gonna need a lighting kit, so it's just gonna be there for now. This is just some decor that's gonna go into the garage. Also, some stuff in there like the kids' pictures. I'm eventually gonna hang that stuff up, but I'm just gonna put it into the garage for now. And then this is our um, dining table uh, chandelier. I'm gonna change that one out for this, and I really like this one. I just need someone to do it for me. Bar cart is still kind of the same. It's not decorated yet. It's looking a lot better than it did earlier, that's for sure. I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet, but this couch is humongous in here. I don't think that bookshelf is gonna stay there. I'll probably put that into the garage. In this bathroom so far, there's just a rug. I still have to put the little stoppy things underneath. I haven't even taken the tag off yet. Nobody really uses this bathroom. <laughs> I got some of those. Um, I got some little trash cans for each bathroom, all in white. I forgot to take the tag off that one. Boy. This is not what the entryway is gonna look like. I did put some little decor there just to see, but um, the basket with the shoes is most likely not gonna stay there. I have to declutter the shoes in the uh, shoe console. Now I'm gonna open up some of these boxes over here. That's just, Sultan, can you get your stuff out of the way, please? <laughs> Also, this tiny little circle rug that used to be in my room is only temporary. <laughs> I'm gonna get a new area rug once the couches are here. Okay, so I decided not to open up the rug until I put together the rest of the patio furniture. Is that red? Why do I see red in there? Definitely wasn't red on the website, so hopefully it's not. Um, you guys will see that when I do the patio. I got one of these sheet sets. It's that jersey material. These are my favorite sheets. I love them. They don't wrinkle. When you put them on your bed, they're just so soft and not ripply or anything like that. So I love these. I got them in a beige, like light tan color. I also got some regular white cotton sheets. Some, oh, these two are from Target. I got some deep conditioner for my hair and the girl's hair and just a daily moisturizer makeup remover wipes and what i'm most excited about is this big jug of vinegar i also got some dishwasher pods mouthwash this is the mouthwash that i use everyone keeps asking me how i keep my teeth so white and i'll do that in like a routine video i'll show you i'll show you everything that i use but this is the mouthwash that i use and lastly i got this throw pillow light beige with some texture on it so cute i'm thinking about changing up my bed my battery is still saying that it's dead i did finish the dishes i put the clean ones away and loaded it back up these are just air drying now I'm going to wash the kids' lunch bags and book bags like I do every night. Hey guys, I'm just about to close out this video, but like I said towards the beginning about that interview where the guy was super rude, he was just being a complete douchebag, but I feel like I handled it well. I feel like they were trying to break my confidence or get me to doubt myself, but... <laughs> They don't know who they were messing with. That'll never be me. I try to stay professional and just keep my cool. Probably just trying to pull me out of character for some weird reason, but that wasn't gonna happen. Anyway, I am about to get ready now and start filming again. I'm gonna film the rest of what I didn't film yesterday for an actual cleaning video. Fingers crossed my PC gets fixed soon and I can do that, but that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all in the next one.